But uh, I was recently, I've been studying a lot about the Civil War and reading stories about those men and the great revivals that those armies had both north and south during that time. And uh, recently I, I come across something that was pretty moving. There was a man by the name of Max Lewis uh, Rosfalli. He was a, a Jewish surgeon for the Federal Army. And uh, the blessing you mentioned about testimonies, uh, this fellow was basically converted because of a testimony. There was a young fella in the Federal Army there at Gettysburg, and he was about 14, maybe 15 years old. He was a drummer for the Federal Army, and he had been injured and had to have an arm and a leg amputated like they did back then. And uh, that Jewish surgeon was working on him and uh, was wanting to give him chloroform for him, and he wouldn't take it. He said, I trusted Christ as my Savior. I trusted the Lord Jesus Christ when I was nine years old. And he said, if I trusted Him then, I can trust Him now. So that young man uh, basically just endured that surgery. And uh, he witnessed to that Jewish surgeon who said, well, I'm, I'm a Jewish man. He said, I, we don't believe that Jesus was the Messiah. And he said, we have our own faith. And uh, a couple of days later, that young man took a turn for the worse, and he called for the uh, surgeon to come back, and he told him, he said, I want you to stay here by my bed and watch me die. Because he said, if you'll watch me die, he goes, because I've trusted Christ, he said, I'll show you what it's like for a man who knows the Lord Jesus Christ to die. Yeah. And, uh, and sure enough, that's what that young boy did, and that, that surgeon could never get away from that. And I don't know, about ten years after that, the war had ended, he trusted Christ as his Savior and became an evangelist. But... Uh, you never know what your testimony is going to do. And uh, so uh, that's always a blessing. And I thought I'd give you that because that moved me to tears when I heard that young man mm -hmm. say, I want you to sit here and watch me die and watch how a Christian dies. Because mm -hmm. Christians die different than anybody else. That's right. Amen. Yeah.